Garrett Toussaint getting it done on the women's side. Now the question is, can Galera make Guido get it done on the men's side? Yesterday he was 22-6. Remember a week ago we saw Coleman Stewart set the world record in this event at 48-58. And a lot of people are saying, what can Guido do here? How can he answer back? Yeah, and Coleman Stewart ended up going 48-5, and then he ended up breaking it again at 48-3. So this match right here is how much closer can they get, especially the man Kolesnikov, who a lot of people think he might be able to take back that world record. In fact, he was quoted the other day, Bernie, in saying, I want to be the first guy under 48. Maybe that journey starts right here. He's not going under 48 today. And Kolesikov and Guido are going to be right next to one another, right there in the middle of the pool. Good start by Guido. Really fast off the blocks. Guido was .59. Only Mora down there in lane number two was quicker off the block. Look at the speed of Guido. Yeah, Guido has already started to check out the field here. 23-2-3. Guido pushing it. World record 48-33. Set by Coleman Stewart. Guido's going for it. He's going for a huge jackpot. This is what London needs to try to catch up. He Look could jackpot the field here. Guido comes home and he is going to go 48 95. It is going to be a huge oh. haul for Guido. London roaring in the backstroke as he will score 19 points. His teammate scores five. So in total, that's 24 points scored by the roar. Wow, are we going to have fun with the men's 100 backstroke this year? Can you imagine with Coleman Stewart, Reloff, Kolesnikov, Guido, you throw in Ryan Murphy? Oh my, this 100 back for men is going to be exciting. Wow. Big surge. For London, first it's Kira Toussaint, then Guido answers back in there, inching closer to trying to get that margin under 100 points. And the key for London, though, is it gives them some separation from iron. Yeah, 